Are you finding the difficulty level in Borderlands 2 just a little bit too easy? Enemies going down too fast? Not enough badasses for you? Well, I have got the mod for you. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install a brilliant mod that's going to increase the difficulty of those bad guys and improve the quality of the loot. Okay, this mod is for PC only, so PS3 players and Xbox players, I'm sorry but this mod is not for you, and it is by a gentleman called Jared, who made this difficulty slider for Borderlands 1, and he was delighted to discover it still works for Borderlands 2. Now, Borderlands 1, I think a lot of people would agree that actually the difficulty level was too easy, and if you leveled up too fast, the game did become very simple, um, especially later on. However, Borderlands 2, most players so at the moment are saying that the difficulty level is actually pretty good. So using this difficulty mod, you really are going to not just make the game balanced, but you are going to make the game hard. Um, this, is, this will make it more challenging, potentially more rewarding, and it will definitely give you all of that great loot that we talked about um, in the introduction. Basically, what this mod by Jared does is that it tricks the game into thinking that there are more players in the game than in fact there are. And um, you'll know that when you have more than one player in it, it uh, the the, the game gives you a message saying the creatures of Pandora have got harder. Now effectively what you're going to do here is trick the game into making the creatures of Pandora harder but without giving you the extra support and backup of that player. And the beautiful thing about this mod is that you can actually decide how much harder you want the game to be. You can make it two players worth, three players worth or the full whammy four players worth of difficulty with just you there taking on all those bad guys. It's completely compatible with um, two players so you could play with two players and have the difficulty of four and customizable um, with any of the options in between. So how do we install it? Okay, so how do we get this uh, difficulty increase working? Um, well, this is the original thread made by uh, Jared on the Gearbox forums, um, and I've put the, the link in the description below. And uh, he gives us the link um, to his uh, website here, or where you can download it from, which is myborderlands.com. Um, there's lots of hints and tips in the thread, so I do recommend you have a little read through if you have some time. But if you click on the link, it'll take you to this website here, which is the Willow Shrubbery. And uh, there's a few things to note. You will need a .NET Framework 4.0, which is free, um, and he gives you a link here. Um, and if you don't have that, then you need to click on here and, and, and find the downloads over this side. You may well have it already, depending on what you've been doing on your PC, but if you don't, you will need to spend just a little bit of time downloading that. But assuming you have got it, you need to download the 4-player difficulty tool by just clicking here. And it'll give you the option to save it. And he says he's named it the Borderlands Num Players Setter 1.1.zip. And then you can save that wherever you want. It doesn't need to be in the Borderlands folder, um, although you can stick it there if you wish. Now when you go to um, wherever you have downloaded it, so if I just pull up my, my downloads... Uh, you can run it straight from the zip, but I think it's always best to extract these things just in case of issues. Um, extract it to a folder, and all you've got inside is a config file and you've got an exe file. Now, some people on the thread have noticed that if you have noted, sorry, that if you run it as an administrator, sometimes um, it can the program doesn't work properly. So run it just as a normal user, just using open or just double clicking on it normal, normally. Now, do not press the scan button or the player's uh, uh, slider until you actually have the game running. So um, let's have this open and ready. Let's head back to Steam or wherever you own your, um, your Borderlands 2 and let's run the game. So you need to get past the menu screen, pick your character and continue your game. Um, if you are choosing to do this multiplayer, then the person using the mod needs to be the host. Um, it doesn't really matter what the um, the additional players do, but the host needs to use it. Um, get yourself all the way into the game and then Alt-Tab out to get back to your desktop. 
And once you've Alt-Tabbed out of Borderlands, you need to bring up the difficulty slider program again. This time you press the scan button and this green bar here will fill it up. Um, and sometimes it will find what's called the player value straight away and sometimes it will uh, go almost all the way before it finds it. Um, I have found on occasion um, it gives you an error and doesn't actually find the value, but that's normally because I've either run this as an administrator or um, I've run Borderlands as an administrator. Um, the easiest way to fix that is simply to shut down Borderlands, shut this down, and then run the whole thing again. But you shouldn't find that's too much of a problem. And then you simply just move the slider up. If you want it to be two players, you put it there. If you want it to be three players, you put it there. If you want to go all the way, so it's just you with four players worth of bad guys and, of course, the lovely, lovely loot, then stick it all the way up to the top. There's, you'll note there's no save button or anything like that. Once you put it up there, um, the game is set to that. If you were to um, change character or kind of come out of the game in any way, even back to the main menu, you then probably need to come out, uh, so Alt-Tab, um, reboot this program or scan again um, and redo this procedure. So it only actually it only works while you're in that current game that you're in because when you when you come back to the main menu or you change your character, the, the memory address that it's found also moves as well. Um, f last recommendation on this one, um, it does edit the memory um, of your computer while it is running. Um, so don't run any programs that might have like a cheap monitor on or things like that, you know, like a, an online multiplayer game. But because Borderlands is a co-op game, um, not a competitive game, um, it doesn't really matter and we can just use this to um, enjoy the gameplay. So let's go back into Borderlands and see what effect we have had. The quickest way to tell mod has worked is to travel somewhere. If it's normal single player, just like you've seen here, you will travel straight away. If, however, the mod is successfully running, you will get the countdown that you can see on the screen there. Um, because that countdown means that the game thinks that there is more than one player there. So if you get that countdown and you're playing in single player, then the mod is working successfully. And, of course, the other way to know that the mod is working successfully is if all of a sudden you get these huge badass psychos, badass nomads, and goodness knows whatever else, um, coming to take you down. Um, it's going to be very, very tough, but you may not notice the bad guy increase straight away, especially early on in the game. It might You might have to travel to a new area, or you might have to wait for um, you know a few things to respawn. Um, but after a bit of um, innovative murder of this particular badass, um, first of all, um, you, you have the enjoyment of taking on some more difficult enemies and, and you putting a bit of strategy into taking them down, but you will also see that the rewards have increased as well because although this is still relatively early in the game, level 11, and I think that badass was level 7, um, I've got two pretty decent sniper rifle green level um, from that bad guy. So yes, there's more risk, yes, there's more death, but there's also more reward as well. Um, this is um, uh, the area that you saw me doing earlier um, at the beginning of the video, except this time the mod is running and you can see once again badasses have emerged here and their health is high and they're going to take a lot to bring them down. A huge thanks to um, Jared for making this mod and publicizing it in the Gearbox forums. Please um, nip onto his thread and tell him that you've enjoyed the mod, if indeed you have. Um, thanks for watching the video and please give it a like and subscribe if you would like to see more news about Borderlands or tutorials um, on up and coming mods. Do check out the rest of the channel. Um, I've got tutorials on all sorts of games that you may enjoy. And uh, give us a comment if you've got any suggestions for tour tutorials or other mods that you would like to see publicised on YouTube. Um, take care, see you soon, and you'd better get used to seeing this next screen.